Oh, that's f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one play. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. It's your boy here, Pepe Prawns of the Quadcopter Review. Here to give you another little tech tip video. I'm not going to call them tech tip Thursdays or Tuesdays anymore because I really want to give you tech tips that actually matter and not just try to find some to make up. So I'm doing these now just as we find them and as we need them. So today's tip is going to be about how to adjust your voltage meter that you're seeing in your OSD when you're putting your batteries on you go, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a you know 4.35 when fully charged and why is it showing 4.2 it's making me quit earlier I, I quit at 3.7 yet it shows it at 4.0 so we're gonna fix that through beta flight uh, works exactly the same in butterflight if you're using it so what we're gonna do is if you remember when I was flying the new UR65 that we got I mentioned the one thing you'll note right off the bat is that the voltage meter is jumped to pretty much flat battery right out of the box. That was me. I set it up wrong in Betaflight and it was giving me some bad readings, but that's all fixed and not an issue. You just want to make sure you make that correct when you set yours up. Well, here's why it wasn't a big deal for me to say I'm just going to fix that. So what you do is have your battery ready and have your quad plugged in and ready to go in beta flight. Now, I'm gonna use the meter number I'm getting on my charger here. As you'll see, when we get to channel one, that is our tiny whoop HV battery. And it says, channel one is at 4.35 so now we've got our number and like I said I'm using my charger because this is you know this is my base this is what I'm going I'm coming in I want to put it back on charge when I mean I'll, I'll run my batteries a little more aggressively because I'm doing reviews than, than probably you guys are but let's say we want to come back in at, at 3.7 which usually means we can run it down to about you know 3.4 and then you can uh, expect it to bounce back up to that number but this is what I'm going to use as my gauge. So we think we're going in at point or a 4.35. So you know we're going to take our battery off the charger. Let's connect to Beta Flight here. Once you're connected, you want to go to the Power and Battery tab. In here, you have your onboard ADC, which is analog to digital converter, if you wondered what that was. And what that does is takes the analog numbers and makes it into a digital number we can actually see and use on our OSD. So, you know, I'm always setting my minimum on this kind of battery to 2.8. Um, I do the maximum cell at 4.4. We can only go to uh, 4.35, but at 4.3, I'll show you the oddities that happen and why I go 4.4. Um, and I set my warning to happen at 3.0. Okay, now we've plugged in our battery, and as you can see, our 4.35 battery is actually showing up at 4.1 volts. Now, we know that's wrong because we've already checked it. So, the easiest way to fix this, now this isn't the bard will get out your tools and all your craziness and, and stuff like that. And he'll even tell you this is a perfectly fine way to do this. Go into your battery section, or tab. And right here in the voltage meter, you'll see this scale. What you do is you move this scale up, do a save, and you'll see we've now jumped up to 4.3 volts. Now, I want it to, to understand that we're closer to 4.35, so we'll give it another tick. All right, we still have 4.3. We'll go up another tick. Still have 4.3. Another tick. There you go. See, now we've hit uh, that 4.4, which is not what we really have. So I take it down one more tick. I save it. And I know that's on the higher end of 4.35 because the scale doesn't give us that. So now, as you can see, our battery is set. We know we have 4.3 a little bit higher, and when we go to fly this, that our voltage meter is going to come down properly the way we expect it to. Our stop times are going to work uh, better on our minimum voltages and stuff, and we have a better idea of what's going on. 
As always, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Click the like button. Tell all your friends about it. And as always, happy flying, guys.